For those who have bought the programmable controller, two programs are already defined in it. In the Watlow literature, a program is called a profile. So we will continue using profile in this video. The controller has a capacity of 40 steps and has been configured to hold four profiles of 10 steps each. One step is either a ramp or a soap. Please note that this flexibility in the number of steps for each profile makes it a bit more tricky. Remember that each profile has 10 steps, thus profile 2 will start at step 11, profile 3 at step 21, and profile 4 at step 31. Two profiles are already defined in the controller. Profile 1 is the initial firing for the refractory. Please refer to your manual. Profile 2 is an example with two ramps and soaks. The ramp rate is 5 degrees Fahrenheit per minute, then it should hold 800 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes, then go back down 3 degrees Fahrenheit per minute to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, hold that temperature for 5 minutes before ending. It is easy to modify this profile to your needs. Here is how to proceed. First you need to hold, press and hold the green button for approximately 5 seconds until you see profile on the lower section. You see P1 on the upper section, you want to change that to P2 using up or down arrow. Then you press the green button once. It will go to step 11 on the upper section. You want to press the green button once. This is your step type. You want to have it in rate. So you're going to press the green button once. Then is, is your target set point. In this example, it is at 800 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to change it to 805. Eight, press the green button once to move on to the next uh, action. Then it is your REM rate. It is defined at 5 degrees Fahrenheit per minute. I'm going to change it to 10 degrees. Then press the green button once. You'll have the event 1. You want to have it to off. So you press the green button, you have event number 2, you want to have it to off also. Then you go back to the uh, original menu. You press the reset button to go and modify the step 12. Press the up arrow to go to 12 and the green button 1 to go into the step definition. The step 12 is your soak we're going to change the soak time which is defined right now so you press the green button once the first is hour want to have it to zero press the green button once you have it in minute we're going to change that to 10 minutes press the green button once now you have the second you want to keep it to zero Press the green button, even one off, green button, another time to even two off also. Then you are back to the main menu of your step. We're going to press and reset button once to go to change the step 13. Press the up arrow run one time, press the green button one. Then is your rate. Press the green button one. Then it's going to go to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. This is your target set point. We want to have it. We're going to change it for this example to 505. Press the green button for three degrees Fahrenheit per minute. We're going to change that to five degrees. Once you're finished, you press the green buttons 
for the event, one event off for an event one, event two off also, and you press the green button, you're back to the main menu for this step. Press the reset button once. Then you're gonna go and modify step 14. Press the green buttons to enter in this step definition. This is the soak time for 5 and 505 that we just defined. We're gonna press the green button once. We're gonna change that to one hour. We're gonna soak for one hour. Press the up arrow one time. Then press the green button once. We're gonna put the minute to zero. Press the down arrow for that. Then you press the green button once. Second to zero. Even one off, press the green button. Even two off also, press the green button. Then you're back to the step definition menu, step type. Press the reset button. I'm gonna go and verify what, what it is in step 15. Press the up arrow to go to 15 and press the green button one. Step 15 is our end step. So after that, your profile number two is finished. Press the, the reset button a couple times to go back to the original menu.